Hello my friends and welcome to the CCI course. My name is Arpit Pandit and I am really very excited to take you on this journey where we get into the details and nitty gritty of routing and switching and get you guys certified. So this course structure is created in a certain way so that you start from the scratch and you go all the way to the required level to pass this exam and that's why the very important thing to do is to first of all understand the structure of the exam what is expected into the exam and then which uh, technologies you need to master to in order to pass the exam and of course this year on 24 feb the exam has changed so what changes have been done and what can we expect from the new exam and uh, is any of our old knowledge is it still going to work uh, toward this uh, certification course uh, or this certification exam or do we need to learn completely new things so all these questions i will try to answer in this uh, video and of course this is the first video on this in the cci video series so this will also give you an idea how you can actually use this uh, video course to have the full benefit from this course so let's get started first with the introduction so cisco has uh, recently changed the cci exams and uh, Four of the earlier exams like CCI Collaboration, Security, Data Center and Service Provider, they all have the same naming structure now also, just the uh, version has changed. For example, CCI Collaboration which is video, audio and video uh, is from version 2, it becomes version 3. CCI Security it was version 5, now it is version 6.0. Data Center was version 2.1, now it is Data Center version 3.0 and service provider was uh, version 4.1 not service provided it should be provider yeah, is a service provider version 5.0 so you can see that they have just changed their version but still the naming uh, convention is there but apart from this now we have two new naming convention as you can see that earlier it used to be called cci routing and switching version 5.0 was the latest version in the last exam now this name has been changed to enterprise infrastructure so cci ei cci enterprise infrastructure and cci wireless which was cci wireless version 3.1 fairly new wireless uh, cci exam actually uh, has already been retired and instead there is an exam dedicated cci exam called enterprise wireless so uh, this is the new structure or new naming convention for cci exams remember that enterprise infrastructure means that you still have to learn all the uh, expert level things about routing and switching so you still need to know how stp work you still need to know how ether channel works you still need to know how eigrp and ospf and bgp work so don't worry if you have already started preparing for cci your knowledge is not going to be wasted you will be able to use it uh, actually a lot into the new exam as well it's just that they have added more things as well for example now you also need to learn a little bit of wireless yes there is a separate wireless a separate wireless cci exam you can see enterprise wireless but there is a little bit of wireless uh, only on the campus side actually is introduced into the enterprise infrastructure exam apart from this uh, there is a sd wan and sd access solution from cisco which is software defined solution for companies and for wan and uh, network programmability so these th these things ha have been added uh, to make it complete infrastructure solution you know before it was just routing and switching that's why the, C the name of the cci was routing and switching but now it is uh, the complete solution for your enterprise infrastructure so if you go to work in a company which is an enterprise company not a service provider so what do they need they of course have routing and switching devices they have wireless LAN controllers, so you need to know wireless also. Uh, of course, it's not uh, uh, the security is not like top level. It's not like Pentagon level, but you still need to apply, implement some security. So you need to know security as well. And of course, uh, the co the company may have some WAN connections and may have some uh, software defined devices even to control the campus LAN. So you need to learn SD WAN access and SD. Uh, sorry SD access and SD WAN solutions as well so that's why it is a complete solution now when you learn CCI enterprise infrastructure you are expert into managing and maintaining a complete inter enterprise network right so that's what we are going to concentrate because this uh, video series is about CCI enterprise infrastructure to be specific now 
Talking about the old format, now we know in the old format of the CCIE, we had a two-step procedure. First, you had to clear a written exam, which is called CCIE qualification exam. And that was a written exam with 100 questions, no simulations, just multiple choice and drag and drop questions. And clearly, it used to be called qualification exam because it is an exam which you have to pass to qualify to take the CCI exam, to take the real CCI exam, which is called CCI lab exam. So that, that was just a qual exam. That's why there was no independent recognition for that. So you do, do not get any certification or you did not used to get any certification or a recognition when you used to pass the written exam. It was just a first step to get your CCI uh, certification. Then comes the CCI lab exam, which was an eight hour practical exam divided into three parts. Now, first part, when you go in the morning to give the exam, to take the exam, the first thing you uh, take a list T shoot, troubleshooting, where you get two hours and 30 minutes. You get 10 tickets and a topology where the configuration is already there and you have to fix the problems, right? So in this case, uh, you can actually try to fix it and you have to uh, get at least 80% into this exam and the questions used to be weighted. So you cannot be sure that if you get 8 out of 10 correct, you will pass. You may have to do 9 out of 10 correct to guarantee passing the exam. And uh, the 30 minutes is in red because it is, uh, as you can see, optional. It means you can complete the T-shoot in 2 hours and then you can utilize these 30 minutes into uh, configuration part. So in configuration, you will get 5 hours, but you can get up to 5 hours and 30 minutes if you take less time in T-shoot. But the second part, diagnostic or diag is a 30 minutes fixed used to be 30 minutes fixed part where you get uh, a scenario maybe an email exchange maybe the output of show commands and you just have to answer some multiple choice questions based on what you observed so there is no configuration there is no access to the devices uh, for configuration part maybe access to the, will be given for show commands or maybe just the output will be given but you just have to read the information and conclude what can be the problem Right, so you don't get anything hands-on finally comes the biggest part of the exam config lab it used to be five hours or five hours to up to 30 minutes extra from t-shoot and this is a separate topology so it is not the same topology of t-shoot it's a new topology uh, with almost nothing configured and you have to configure it from the scratch maybe IP addressing might be there or basic configuration will be there but then everything layer 2 layer 3 VPN security QoS all configurations have to be done so this was the old format and uh, you had to secure 80 percent into each of the uh, uh, of the sections so t-shoot diag and config lab you have to have 80 percent each and overall also you have to get 80 percent of the marks now in the new format one good news is that the cci qualification exam earns you a specialist certification so once you pass the cci qual exam you will get a certification and you can use it in your resume and uh, apply for jobs and say that I am in my process to get my CCI and I am a specialist. So that's a good thing. That's a good change. Second thing is that now uh, the CCI lab exam is still eight hours, but now there are only two partitions here. You can see that design, which is the three hours fixed part and then deploy, operate and optimize, which is the five hours fixed part. So these are this is divided into two parts and automation and programmability will be integral part of every cci track now so automation and programmability part which actually tells you how to use the basics of python uh, json perl and uh, how to uh, how to interpret the rest apis and all these things will be into every cci track no matter which one you, you will do so talking about the written exam uh, as we know that the new cci exam uh, for auto switching track is now called enterprise infrastructure the qualification exam is uh, is the one which earns you a specialist certification and the lab exam has two sections instead of three sections so the first part is the cci written exam which is known as implementing uh, implementing cisco enterprise network core technologies or n core 350 401 this is the new uh, exam code for this and you can see that most of the topics you already are working on it or you will uh, you know that this these are part of routing and switching also which is IPv4 and IPv6 infrastructure, virtualization infrastructure and network assurance. But security and automation are the new addition into this. Coming to the lab part, 
the exam requires a candidate to plan design deploy and operate and optimize dual stack operations means ipv4 as well as ipv6 for complex enterprise networks so that's why the eight hours exam time is divided into two parts three hours designing part five hours configuration part so configuration is the deploy uh, design deploy operate and optimize part right so let's talk about the designing part first now designing part is three hours it will be pretty similar to the direct section from the before exam uh, in a manner that you don't get access to the devices it's just scenario based no configuration is required you will be asked some question based on email exchange or output of the show commands or output of the debug commands or the configuration uh, expert accepts and you have to answer the questions based on your uh, deductions so you have to deduce uh based on your observations you have to answer the question so mostly web based questions like drag and drop multiple choice questions and drop down lists so this is the first part 3 hours now second part the bigger part 5 hours deploy operate and optimize in this part it will be pretty similar to the configuration part of the old lab where you have to configure things so configuration of the devices according to the lab requirement that is the deploy part so this is uh, where you will configure the switching routing vpn technology security all the topics which you will learn in this video series from karotul maybe there will be some web based questions too but if you know your topics like in this video series we will make sure that you understand your topics and you are really comfortable with these topics then you will be able to answer these questions operate and optimize part would include the topics like network management troubleshooting and high availability security and quality of service so these are like extra in the older exam this used to be like section 4 and section 5 where miscellaneous questions are asked once the topology has the core configuration built so if you already have the con core configuration means the switching is configured routing is configured mpls is configured ipv4 ipv6 is configured all routing protocol is configured then you can operate this and optimize this for example network management means you can configure nat uh, snmp uh, syslog netflow uh, high availability is hsrp vrrp glvp security is configuring access control access control lists or control plane policing all these things we will learn in this video series and qos of course quality of service which you had into the older exam as well right so this is uh, what are you exactly going to get into the uh, exam now talking about the exam topics so as i told you your switching and routing which you if you have already started working on it don't worry it will be a huge part as you can see mpls dmvp and multicast qos ip services optimization up to here everything is from the older exam optimization is your uh, tftp uh, snmp netflow these things the new things as you can see is the software defined infrastructure which is sd access and sd wan and network programmability so don't worry we will cover the uh, required topics uh, in the last module for these two as well so we will get it covered as well so now talking about our uh, video course which you will uh, which you can see you are going to start from the next video onward we are going to start from the basics of every protocol every uh, topic and we will get into the detail required for the cci level that's why you will see that uh, uh, like for example bgp alone as uh, almost uh, 25 videos just for bgp so you can see that we are going to get into the details of every topic we make sure that uh, we uh, we understand it from inside out and we are very comfortable with this also i am going to use a specific uh, topology and i am going to use evng for that so we will help you to get that set up as well for the set for the practice part and of course we will use gns also so in most of the cases we will use evng for practice because evng is best for switching all the switching topics are supported in the virtualized environment evng is actually the name of a simulation software and uh, for some topics we are going to use gns3 because it's just easy if you want to take two or three routers or four routers and want to put them into different uh, topologies or different autonomous systems for example or, or areas for osp if it's easy to use gns3 so be aware we are going to use evng and gns3 for our uh, course so that's it for this video and i'm really excited to have you on board on this cci video journey it's going to be a long but interesting journey and very informative journey for you guys so i hope you pass your exam after this and uh, you get your certification so i'll see you into the next video and let's get started thank you very much